up everyone welcome back to my channel my name is Luvi for those who are new here welcome for today's video this is another makeup tutorial but this is more of my everyday look when I go to work for those who don't know yet I am a nurse by profession and I'm working here in Dubai in UAE as a dermatology nurse so yeah dun ako sa field ng mga medyo pampaarte pampaganda so, ayan, dun tayo sa hindi tayo medyo related masyado sa medical. But of course, from time to time, I am still, of course, updating my knowledge pagdating sa mga medical and surgical um, updates. Kahit nasa OPD ka, nasa medical ward ka, nasa ER ka, nasa ICU ka, ang common denominator niya sa pagiging nurse, kailangan you have to look presentable. Kailangan medyo may kulay ka naman kasi nakakahiya naman kumarap ka sa pasyente. I think college days pa lang tinuro na yan. I don't know sa ibang bansa. Pero in the Philippines, uh, we were trained by our clinical instructor, by our RL teachers na kailangan kahit paano. Meron kang lipstick, hindi kailangan bongga pero dapat may kulay yung iyong labi, yung iyong pisngi, hindi na mumutla. All in all, you need to look presentable. Kung isa kang nurse at kung struggle sa'yo kung paano ba ang mabilis na pag-aayos, simple, hindi bonggang-bongga pero you are looking fine when you, when you face your patient, when you talk to the doctor, when you endorse your patient to your colleague. So, kung interesado ka at kung gusto mong malaman kung paano ako maghanda on my everyday duty, then please keep on watching. As you can see, I already have my scrub suit on. This is just the top of my scrub suit. I am not wearing my actual uniform kasi hindi ko alam kung pwede yun. Just to make it safe, hindi ko na nilagay sa noot yung aking actual uniform. This is my old scrub suit. So, yeah, it doesn't fit me well na it's looking a bit tight on me. So, pagkaligo ko, this is basically my bare face without any cream, without anything. This is the very first thing that I use. This is the sunscreen. This is the Bioray Ultraviolet Aqua Rich Watery Gel. I only have two sunblocks. This one or the Neutrogena. The Neutrogena, I, I, I ran out of it. Nag-order pa ako nun. So this is what I'm having right now. Ito yung gagamitin natin ngayon. So, every day of my life, especially na nagkakaedad na ako, I am putting sunblock. Ito na yung ginagawa kong moisturizer ko. Ayan. So, nilalagay ko siya dyan sa full face ko. And, guys, bilang dermatology nurse, Isa sa mga natutunan ko nung nagtrabaho ako bilang derma nurse is hindi importante kung makapal yung nilagay mong sunblock. And hindi rin importante kung SPF 100 yan or SPF 25 or 50 lang yan. Actually, it doesn't matter. The more important is how frequent the, how frequent you reapply the sunblock. So, yan. Actually, nilalagay ko rin yan hanggang sa leeg ko. So, bilang derma nurse naman ako, I think, I have the right to inform you that, guys, putting sunblock actually is better if you put it 30 minutes before before you leave the house or if before you expose yourself under the sun and you reapply it every 2 hours, as frequent as 2 hours. So, it doesn't matter kahit SPF 100 yan, 50 or 25. The bottom line is how many times you reapply it in a day. Alright, now that it's there, we are now going ahead for the second step. So guys, I have to let you know also that it's been like a month now na hindi na ako nagme-make up pagpapasok sa clinic. So yeah, mag one month na na puro sunblock lang yung ginagamit ko. And kung nag, um, naglalagay man ako ng anything na ma-cover yung aking mga blemishes, I'm only using this uh, 
concealer, the Maybelline H Rewind Concealer. So, kapag uh, marami akong time, this is basically the second step that I do. This is my base or this is my foundation or this is the product that helps me um, conceal something not too much and not too extreme. Pero, this just gives me a glowing effect and you know, a minimal uh, correction onto my blemishes. This is the Happy Skin on the Glow Instant Complexion Perfector. As you can see, it's new because I haven't used it So basically, just twist this um, bottom here and then the product will be coming through to this doe foot applicator. It just takes time, sorry. This is the twist ever, so it's taking a lot of time. Ayan na siya. I can see. Yeah. Okay, so feeling ko dahil sobrang tagal kong nag-ikot nung um, foundation ng happy skin na to. Nag-dry up na yung aking face. So again, I am going to uh, moisturize my face by using my sunblock. This is not my moisturizer as I have said. But this serves as my moisturizer, might as well. Better na yan, di ba? It won't do any harm. It's actually good. Now that our face is ready, this, I put this right here all over. Woo! It's too thick. Namiss ko to. <laughs> so I'm just using my fingers in the morning kapag nagmamadali. Ito na yung ginagawa kong pang spread. Hindi na ako nag- uh, i-sponge or hindi na rin ako nagpa-brush when I'm uh, spreading this product kasi madali lang naman siyang i-spread. Masyado siyang light and even yung finish niya is very light. Hindi ganun ka full coverage to. This is very minimal and this is good for an everyday look. As you can see, hindi rin siya ganun ka matte. Hindi rin naman siya ganun ka dewy yung finish. Just in between. I don't set my face when I'm using this a foundation if although if you have very very oily skin if you have terrible oiliness on your face you better set this with any powder that you have but for me I'm happy with this dewiness it's not that much but it's not also much so this is just perfectly fine for me this is my preference I'm not gonna set that with anything this uh, concealer I do use this sometimes and sometimes not so Pag may araw na feeling ko sobrang puyat ako and pag may araw na yung mga iba ko pang uh, pigmentations ay hindi na ko cover nung aking happy skin, I do use this. So, let's use that today. And there. And there. And there. And there. So, wala akong brush. Ganyan lang. Ganyan lang. Dinadabdab ko lang yung aking daliri. Even on the under eye, kasi hindi naman ganun kakapal yung nilagay ko. Isang swipe lang or isang dab lang nung applicator ng uh, concealer. So, that's it. Ganyan lang. As you can see, wala akong ibang ginamit na tools. Puro daliri ko lang. Puro yung aking kamay. Just bear, bear in mind that dapat naginis yung iyong kamay. So guys, I'll be right back. Let me just finish my eyebrows and then we'll deal with the other stuff in a while. Now that Kida is done, the next step that I'm doing guys is my um, eyeshadow. Actually, most of the days, I don't put eyeshadows. Pero if uh, masyado pang maaga para bumiyahe or pag medyo may extra minutes pa ako or may extra time pa ako, I do put on eyeshadow using this Wet n Wild Color Icon Rosé in the air. And I'm just using this shade right here. This transition color here. It's a light brown. And then I'm putting that all over the lid. Yan, it's a very neutral color. Parang nang wala akong eyeshadow nyan. Pero kasi kulay balat lang naman yan or darker lang ng konti sa aking balat. And then, using my finger, I do dip my um, my finger, my ring finger here. Pwede itong white or pwede itong shimmery shade na to. For today, we are going to use this shimmery shade. 
kasi konti lang naman yan, hindi masyadong bonggang shimmer yan. Ganyan. So, yan lang yung ginagawa ko sa aking mata. Pwedeng wala nga yan actually. Basta ang importante, meron ako nitong um, curler, eyelash curler at mascara. I can deal without um, eyeshadow but not without mascara. So, yan. The mascara that I'm using is from Essence and this is the Lash Princess. shower very quickly nga pala. Parang 5 minutes, tapos na akong maligo. Ganun ako kabilis. So, including this uh, pag-aayos, mga uh, 30 minutes. Kaya ko itong gawin ng 30 minutes including the ligo. Nagtitake lang ako ng time kapag, alam mo yung pagbibihis, pagsusuklay, pagbimedyas. So, kumakain talaga ako ng isang oras para sa pag-prepare sa aking pagpasok. So, basically, ayan na siya. And then, I do bronze up a bit. Hindi ganyan kabonggang pag-bronze up. Sobrang light. This is what I'm using. This is the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Contouring Palette. And, dito lang siya. Nilalagay ko ganyan. Para lang magkaroon ng konting drama yung ating face. Hindi masyadong isang angulo. So, yan. Nag-bronze up talaga ako everyday morning. Pero kapag after break time, kasi after break time, syempre, nagbabrush ako ng teeth and then, naghihilamos ako. Full face lang yung naghihilamos ako. So, hindi na ako nag-ganito kapag uh, afternoon. So, yun na lang. Bla uh, sunblock, tsaka concealer if I need to. Pero sunblock is a must. So, ganyan lang ang aking pagbo-bronze up. Hindi na rin ako naglalagay sa ilong kasi parang hindi man ako nag-highlight. Pwede kang mag-highlight mag kapag may time. Tsaka feeling ko kapag alam mo yun, sobrang kailangan ko talaga nung araw na yun. Ng, uh, medyo marami-raming cover up and improvement. <laughs> so, yan. For the blush on, this is what I usually use sa blush on, on an everyday basis. This Kat Von D Shade and Light Eye Palette. And this shade latest right here is the one that I used for my blush on. This is not actually a blush on, but I love how it looks on the cheeks. This is actually one of the bases or one of the transition colors here in the palette. So, yan. And, yes, ganyan lang. And we are almost done. So, yan. Pwede na akong mag-duty. Pwede na akong humarap sa aking pasyente. And then, for the last step, of course, nag-lipstick ako, guys. Kasi lipstick is life. And I am going to use this Sephora lipstick. Ayusin ko lang yung buhok ko kasi syempre kailangan uh, hindi nakaganito, hindi nakaluga yung buhok ng isang nurse kapag magjujuti siya. Either yan sa OPD, sa clinic, or sa medical ward, or sa ER. So, yan yung ating protocol kung ikaw ay nurse at may mahabang buhok. Hindi, hindi yan dapat nakalugay. Best, okay? So, let me just finish my hair and I'll be right back. So, here is the final look, guys. This is my everyday make up when I go to work. This is how I prepare myself for my everyday duty. Alright, so sana nag-enjoy ka sa panonood ng video ito. Kung katulad kong isa kang nurse, sana may natutunan ka and sana may nai-instill ako sa iyong knowledge pagdating sa sunblock. So, kung meron kang tanong tungkol sa nursing or kung meron kang tingin mo masasagot ko, then comment ka lang sa comment section down below and I'll try to answer as soon as possible or as much as I can. So, that's it. 
and I hope to see you guys on my next video. Bye-bye and God bless.